Activism Insights is an effort from members and supporters of the VenusProject.com resource-based economy and is not an official spokesperson, representative, or act in any official capacity and serves only to encourage, support, and motivate other TVP activists. Everybody and welcome to Activism Insights. You know this is dedicated to you out there in the field. We've got a very, very special, everyone knows Julio. Julio has been with the Venus Project for many, many years. You've seen him on a lot of the uh, uh, Google Hangouts. He does a lot of Teams meetings and uh, we wanted to introduce him. He's got some wonderful things to contribute. He's a POC for the Venus Project .com resource-based economy and we're just gonna conduct a short interview. We're here on the grounds of the Venus Project Research Center in March 2017. So Julio, tell us, you know, your name and, and what part of the world you're residing in. Well, my name is Julio Herrera. I live in, I reside in New York, on Long Island, New York. Um, and I'm actively uh, POC for the New York area along with two other POCs, um, uh, Tomas Piozic and Brian Camera for upstate New York and New Jersey. And we are basically uh, the team, New York team, and we answer emails, answer phone calls, questions, direct people to in the right direction. If you have a, a skill that you want to contribute, we direct you to either the linguistic team or the media team or whatever, wherever you feel that you can contribute. We have uh, a, a spot for you that you can contribute your skills to and, 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 and um, feel like you're part of the team, uh, whether it be in New York or any part of the world. We'll point you in the right direction. You have to talk to one Fantastic. of the admins or depending on what the situation is, we'll have you talk directly to Roxanne. And um, basically uh, for the New York area, uh, we're in the process of trying to structure our team base, uh, you know, All to right. get some more dedicated and long-term hardcore uh, members that really have a passion for TVP mm -hmm. and can help uh, spread the awareness and create awareness and uh, possibly help us with coordinating some well thought out events or screenings that we plan on doing uh, in the near future. Um, it's something that it's on a volunteer basis that you know we, we all have lived busy lives. We're all uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> occupied with different things and we don't always have the time to as much as we want to dedicate to the Venus Project. So we have to uh, you know put that aside for the moment, but we're very dedicated I'm dedicated forever, even though I gotta. Sometimes I have to push it aside because I got my own <laughs> personal things, but sure I always man. come back to it. Of course. And uh, like I said, I wish we could do more, but uh, we're limited because of our jobs, our relationships, the society obligations, and all mm. that. And we try to put those things uh, prioritize as best as we can. Sure. Now I have a question: Where did you learn of the VenusProject.com resource-based economy? The Venus Project, I learned of the Venus Project because of my daughter. My daughter said, Dad, there's this movie you gotta watch. I said, well, what is it, honey? I, I didn't have the slightest idea what Jock was about, what the Venus Project was, nothing, none of that. I was into organic food and health, right. and then I was reading some books here and there, trying to enlighten myself, but one day my daughter goes to me, Dad, you gotta watch this movie. I go, what? Well, you gotta watch this movie. It's really cool. They talk about the Venus Project and this other stuff. I said, all right, I'll watch it. You know, I'm open-minded. So I watched it. And the moment I watched one of uh, Peter Joseph's, uh, unfortunately, he's not uh, with us anymore, but, you know, he's... Which movie was that? The uh, moving forward, uh, the, uh, yeah, the, the uh, as I guess, the addendum. Addendum. Yeah, and I'm the sorry. moving forward. I, I watched all of them. Did you? But yeah. as the minute I saw Jack and the Venus Project, it's like a light went off, a light bulb went off, and, and, and I was like, this is like really interesting this is no so i had to pursue it i had to i had to continue to read about it i had to continue to follow it and i uh kept watching more articles and more lectures and more videos about it. and the more i watched the more i wanted to watch more yeah and i just got all overwhelmed with how much information i was taking in i said you know i want to do something more than just and i probably just sat a year or two maybe a couple of years without really knowing how to contribute, looking for uh, a chapter, a congregation, something. When all of a sudden, 
there was there was actually a zeitgeist meeting going on every in new york city so i went to that just to have some kind of connection but every time i went i always spoke about the venus project uh -huh. i always introduced everybody the venus project this and the venus project that so all of a sudden one day i was emailed there was going to be a meeting uh, with Sasso and Jennifer, and, and and I had just got out of a Zeitgeist meeting, and I drove like two and a half hours in the rain to Tom Piozik's area, and I met Tom, Sasso, and wow. Jennifer, went to dinner with them, wow. and stayed in contact with them ever since, and then all of a sudden there was an orientation program wow. that uh, it was brought to my attention. I, I, I did the best I could to complete the orientation program, and I became the POC for New York, assisting Ryan and... Tomas, and then I've been sort of developing it. Now we call ourselves the New York team. So all three of us work, and we want to do more. Obviously, we're trying to recruit members. We got a New York page, uh, the New York uh, Venus Project Facebook page, and we just post stuff strictly for New York members only who want right. to become involved. Yeah, and and that's basically it. I mean, I, you know, I, I do what I can. Yes, yes. And now, you know, would you encourage other people? You know, what we have two different training programs. One is the Socio-Cybernearing Educational, and then there's the POC. For people that are in their area, would you recommend people to get involved with that? I would definitely recommend uh, the Social-Cybernearing course to anyone. I would take it myself. However, I am waiting for a more uh, realistic, practical time in my life to do it because of the fact that it's a very challenging and it's very time-consuming. It's a college-level course It's mm -hmm. very very uh deep uh, mm -hmm. what i can say and um i wish i can uh attend it sooner i'm trying to make room in my life to do that mm -hmm. um what's the poc course like the well, POC, that's a pretty detailed well the the uh poc course the um uh, point of contact what it means uh involves uh answering emails we usually we try to answer within three days mm. if someone you know i always check the, the mailboxes i try to keep it up to date i try to enhance it i try to keep it clean and organized yeah, i try to keep communication with the admins as much as i can of course everything is time permitted everything is on a volunteer basis yeah. so we uh do what we can and the poc also answers questions if you have questions if you can't answer the questions we say i don't know and then we <laughs> find out and we direct yeah. you to the right person that Fantastic. will be able to ask you that question. Excellent. You know, we have, like I said, there's many ways you can participate. We have, uh, you know, we have many videos that have to be translated in other languages. So mm. if you speak a different language, mm -hmm. we direct you to the linguistic team where you can be of much help to them right. translating okay. uh, movies, articles, and things like that mm -hmm. to another language. Or the media team, if you have media skills or graphic skills, things like that, we can direct you where you can somehow participate and contribute and feel like you're actually participating. Again, the biggest thing about this is creating the awareness. That's the sure. biggest first step. And uh, POCs yeah. help direct in and what areas those people may be able to lend their skills. They become familiar with what's actually available out yes. there and help direct people. Yes. Well, I can't thank you enough, Leo, for now, taking the time out of your Luke life. We want to thank Luke for his wonderful mm. contribution as well. Luke is very well with, very good with the video interviewing. He does a lot of help here in the Venus Project as well. We all, we all know him. He's well known, and we appreciate. We all appreciate all of us. We all know yes, we contribute. Every person and is important. And we all important. know every every little thing that everyone can do, whether it's more or less adds to you know it helps the situation what out. we're all doing yeah, we're so here, here we are i sure thank you brother you're just the best ever and everybody we're going to put a link there for the uh, new york chapter uh their facebook if you have any pages if you're in that area if you have any questions uh we'll have a link and he's always available you know remember everything is volunteer based so sometimes it takes a while we encourage you to keep checking in if you have questions you're in that area He's there to help you. And the uh, email has been changed from uh, newyork.us at tvpactivism.com to newyork.us at tvpsupport.com. For more information on the venusproject.com resource-based economy, log on to the venusproject.com website or check out the venusproject.com YouTube channels and Facebook pages.